So this is my display for the oscilloscope. It's a 10 inch LCD. It's 480 by 600, so the resolution is certainly not that great, at least compared in today's standard. But this display goes to my oscilloscope. It replaces what used to be, and of course that would be really an upgrade, um, a CRT, a cathode ray tube. If we take a look at the uh, four channel uh, 8 gigahertz sample uh, scope, you can see that this small screen, which really goes right into the front, replaced what would normally have been the CRT. And that's extended here and in the back of the tube where the electrons uh, gun was, would have been probably about right here. Uh, this here is a, a fan. The main power supply is here. We have the controls, which I have uh, just disassembled in order to get this uh, display out. I'm taking a look at this. It doesn't look very good. What's currently happening is only about half of it is being lit. And I suspect the reason why half of it is being lit is um, the fluorescent CCL or CCFL, whatever they want to call it, the fluorescent tube, I think, is going out. And we can test that in a moment. I'll actually power it up. Uh, so hopefully, I can power it up and... You know, my, my hope would be that it's maybe just dirt or something on it, but you can tell very quickly that the shielding on this alone is so good, uh, you know, they probably has issues dissipating heat. It's so tight, so very much doubt that I'll be able to do too much with it, short of replacing it, but I thought I'd give it a whirl and see what I can at least come up with. Alright, so this is the back of the display, and I'll carefully turn, and here's the front of it. It's a 10-inch diagonal. Um, it's a very common display. Uh, they use a lot of these in control environments. And it's a Sharp LQ-10D367. And uh, right now what's happening is only about half of this display, when I see the signal, I'm only seeing really about this much of it. Um, right here, I don't see a lot. Now it's not a perfect straight line to suggest that it's an issue with the LCD itself. You can tell it's a light because it, it's gradient, right? It's dark and then gets lighter and lighter and then here it's okay. So that's how I know it's the display uh, light, not the actual LCD or the driver or anything like that. Back to this display and what I'm going to try and do is remove the fluorescent tube on this. Be very careful with these. If any of these come up, they're right now glued. If any of these pop up, or they pop up from this glass here, one line will be completely missing. And it's not fixable. You can hold it down, but it's it's a real, real, real pain in the butt. They basically consider it ruined. Same with these. These strips have a lot of wires, probably a hundred or so wires running through each and every one of them for each line of the display, right? 480 by 800, so here's maybe the 800, so 800 wires, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 100 in each one, and then there's 480 going through this board here, so just be careful. I'm going to remove the light here, since that's what I think is the issue. The tube here, and again, it's literally a fluorescent tube, and you can perhaps see that there's definitely black in that area there, and as I'm walking around I see definitely some dark area so I'm going to remove this and light it up and we should be able to see why that screen was so dark now these are high voltage so don't touch these don't even on the inverter board don't rest your hand there you will get shocked it is literally like hundreds of volts we just plug it in and let's flip this baby on certainly seems very bright. I'm surprised to see that. Hmm. I am quite surprised to see how bright it is. I, I suspected this was the issue. Like, I'd see some dull area there. But I don't see it at all. And I'm just wondering now if perhaps, just, just perhaps, this got in the way. Maybe this turned so the back 
was faced towards the uh, towards one of the lights and that didn't work. I, I don't know. I'm excited. This is bright. I, I did not expect to see this and maybe I can save myself some money. So I'm going to put it back together without this. You know, it's supposed to reflect the light, but if you take a look here, so this opens up and this is where that plastic is supposed to go that lights up the back. But perhaps this wasn't all the way straight and somehow over time it turned and the dark part was really being covered up by the shield. Okay, everything is attached. Oh boy. That's not good. That's not good at all. That is not good at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is confirm that my ribbon cable hasn't snuck out a little bit. It may just not be in there very straight. So let me turn this off. Mm. So I wanted to make sure they didn't ruin anything. So one of the things that I did is on channel 2, I have a function generator to the left over here. And I just put 1.2 volt peak to peak sinusoidal waveform. So that's what I should expect on here. I've got the front panel in. I've got my display. So I'm hoping this works. The last time I turned it on, I got really bad signal suggesting that maybe I'd ruined the display or something was incorrect. So my guess is the back of the port was not connected all the way. Um, that can definitely cause that type of issue that we experienced. So let's just hope that's it. All right, let's go. Uh, okay, so we got light on our floppy disk, light on standby. That's normal. <gasps> no way. Is that? I was ready to purchase a brand new display. It was going to cost $150 to $180. And I was ready to purchase one because it was going bad. And now take a look. Amazing. It was going to be so expensive. Unbelievable. Taking it apart, and I'm just, I'm amazed. It's so clear. Before all of this was shaded dark, it was very difficult. I had a hook on an external monitor. It's probably difficult to see from the camera, but it is very, there's the display there, and you can see that it's very clean. Uh, no dark gradients whatsoever. Here's uh, some of the math options that are on. Okay. I think it's time for me to go because I want to start playing again.